stupid fat hobbitses, you excluded me from the movie. Destroy the dragon, you must. Hello, I'm Stutch. I got a little carried away there. The Hobbit! Desolation of Smog! Or Smag. Or whatever. What does it fucking matter? I'm gonna tell you right up front. I hated the first Hobbit with a passion of the Christ. Just a major fucking disappointment. It was like when I had sex with a Jewish girl. It was like, oh, she doesn't believe in Jesus. This is gonna be hot. This is gonna be exotic. But no, it was just regular good sex. Nothing special. But this film, I fucking loved it. Right off the bat, the directing and cinematography, major fucking improvement. Everyone's talking about the 48 frame rate thingy. And this time, it wasn't distracting. It looked really good. Like that Jewish girl. Peter Jackson got his feet wet with the first one. He, you know, probably got his dick wet too since he lost a lot of weight. What I loved about this film was the whole time it, I wasn't like, yeah, I remember Lord of the Rings. That was, that was a good movie. It has its own separate feel. It's its own standalone thing. But Desolation of Smog is just a great action adventure fantasy film. Like it gets really intense. It's a moving picture. Like in the first one, I thought the dwarves were so fucking boring. Like usually when I see a midget, I'm immediately entertained. But no, 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 no not with that film. This time I really enjoyed watching all of them. I had a great time hanging out with the little guys. How awesome would it be if the dwarves made up with their small size by having a huge dick? It's probably really hairy, but beautiful. Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins. Or should I say Bimbo Faggins? <laughs> oh, original humor. Martin Freeman just brings such whimsicalness and sincerity to the performance. And in this film, they get to show off how, like, Bilbo is a badass. They should have called this The Hobbit. Bilbo saves the dwarves' asses repeatedly. And yet, they don't give him much respect still. Granted, he's only like in a fifth of this film, but the scenes with him are like some of the best scenes in this film. And Ian McKellen as Gandalf the Grey. He's barely in this film. And it sort of just felt like Gandalf being Gandalf again. Not much more depth to it. But Ian McKellen's really good at being Gandalf. I just wish they gave us a little more to explore with the character. I'd love to see a movie with Gandalf like having a romantic love interest. I'd imagine it'd be a black girl. Because let's face it, out of all the characters, Gandalf probably has the biggest dick. And my favorite character, Orlando Bloom as Legolas. Orlando Bloom. I fucking love this guy. In Lord of the Rings, yeah, he was the shit, but he was kind of just that cool guy with the bow and arrow. In this film, he's a much more focused character. You see that he's got like a love interest. You get to meet the dude's father, who I'm pretty sure is a homosexual. And he just kicked so much ass. Like, he was already an ass kicker. Like, if there was an ass around, he would be kicking that ass. He's just, he was ten times cooler than he already was. Look, I wouldn't suck Orlando Bloom's dick, but I would definitely suck Legolas's dick. Evangeline Lilly is Tariel. I always love watching a female character kick some ass. It's easier for me to imagine my dominatrix fantasies. She's like the female equivalent to Legolas. I can honestly see just a whole spin-off movie about Legolas and Tariel. And Evangeline Lily, she's fucking hot. I would fuck her with those elf ears. I prefer she has them on. Otherwise, I'd just be flaccid. Kidding. Not really. And Richard Armitage as Thorin. I love his internal complexity. Driven by what's right, or is it greed and power? He's more of the leader I enjoy watching in a movie. Someone who you're like, should I trust this guy fully? Like, yes, he's the leader, but he obviously can make some serious mistakes. Like the Jewish girl. And of course, probably the best thing about this movie, Benedict Cumberbatch as Smog. Without a doubt, the best part of this film next to Legolas is the dragon. I saw this in IMAX 3D and I swear it was like he was coming out of the theater. I like, I like reached my hand out to try and touch him. Somehow I ended up groping the old lady in front of me, but whatever, she probably liked it. The dude is like monologuing the whole time. The scenes between him and Bilbo are just fantastic. Like Smog is only like in the last 30 minutes or so and there's so much build up to him, but damn, they like under promise but over fucking deliver. And the effects are just so damn good on him. You're, you're never pulled out by going, oh, it looks a little fake. Like you are just engrossed. I don't know how Benedict Cumberbatch does it, man. Like the he made the dragon kind of sexy. Like if I was a gay male dragon, I would have dragon sex with smog. 
I'd be on bottom. Elijah Wood as Frodo. He's not in this movie. As always, the visual effects are dynamite. There's an exceptional production design, and the action is just so badass. There's just one scene that deals with a river, and there's like orcs and the dwarves and, and, and elves. It's just so exciting, so fun. You don't want it to end. And the whole time you're constantly going, Damn! You see that shit, motherfucker? Yeah, this movie turned me into a black guy. Like, Legolas is just so badass in it. You're watching it the whole time going, God, I'm gonna suck his dick so bad. And I want Tariel to watch. I really just love the way this story moves. It cuts back and forth between several different stories. But each story is incredibly engrossing. I love how they all tie in. I know they've really redone a lot of the story to have it tie in with Lord of the Rings more. And honestly, I love what they're doing. I really enjoy the tie-ins. Like a lot of time it had me going, Oh, I see how that shit came to be that shit. Like this movie is just so good that you know that certain characters are obviously going to live. Because those characters are in Lord of the Rings. But you'll completely forget about that. It'll be so intense and the danger will be felt. Like, you'll be like, oh shit, how is Bilbo gonna get out of this? How the fuck is Gandalf gonna get out of this? And you, like, fear for the lives of those you don't know are gonna make it or not. I wonder if there's, like, dwarf gangbang porn. I would love to masturbate to that. Just for the experience. Not because I want to do it consistently. I mean, who knows? I might really like it. Last thing I gotta say, watch it on IMAX. Please do. I saw this at CityWalk, dead center seats, and it was worth every penny. Like the Taiwanese hooker I slept with last week. Real fast, I know this has nothing to do with the movie, but there were these douchebags who were sitting in my seat. And keep in mind, this is reserved seating. And these fuckers were refusing to move. And the movie had already started. Like I got into the argument with this guy. He's like, oh, we'll split up our group. Like, what the fuck do I care if I split up your group? You guys will be talking the whole fucking time? I'd rather split up your group. If you guys did talk the whole time, I'd piss on you. So when I kicked the people out of my seats, there were these two people sitting next to me who were just like, pissed off at me. And if you fuckers happen to be watching this review, I hope you burn in hell. And I hope Satan makes you suck his fiery cock. And I hope that Hitler ass fucks both of you. Especially that woman who just wouldn't shut the fuck up. Saying shit like, you're just gonna sit somewhere else? Society these days. She pulled a society line on me. And apparently where they were sitting was also someone else's seats. And then they got kicked out of the theater. So ha! You motherfuckers. You ruined the first 10 minutes of this movie for me. Now, I'm not gonna piss on you. I'm gonna shit on you. I'm gonna take a bunch of fiber every day in hopes that I will bump into you so I can poop on you. Let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I gotta say, The Hobbit Desolation of Smog got it super right. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my review for The Hobbit Desolation of Smog. Why don't you go ahead, scroll that comment box below, and tell me which character out of this franchise do you think has the biggest dick. And if you want to see more episodes of Straight to the Point, you can click the link right here. I got a lot of videos, a lot of shit you can watch. Because, you know, I want you to watch all my videos. Because this is all I do, I have no friends. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews is out, go to click on this button by my dick to subscribe. That's right, the dick. Subscribe. Let me tell you something about this little dragon. Once he goes inside you, he's gonna set your pussy on fire. Is it gonna hurt? Probably. Will it hurt me? Maybe. But is it gonna be worth it? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs>